I really, really hate it when they portray Joe and Frederick like they argue and then, then she returns back to Concord. And I hate it when that happens. And it, it's in the 1994 film and 2019 film. As, as much as I don't like that, compare, comparing the two, the 94 version did it better where it felt more like, mm -hmm. like all these two are just like friends and they got like into a little argument. Whereas yeah. in the 2019 version, it's like, yeah, I sat there just like after that argument, I was like, for the first time ever, I was like, I hate Joe. And I never said that. <laughs> we had to take a moment in between because uh, we were, we had to do something in, in the middle and we were kind of discussing. And I was like, I've never said this, but I hate Joe. And it was amazing to me how, again, girl, we just, I don't know, it was so confusing. She almost made past Joe be seem almost more mature than current storyline Joe because I was, I like looked at the screen, like you did not just say that, like when Friedrich is trying to tell her like his criticism and like for her to full blown out and say like, you know, quite literally, I, I might be par paraphrasing it, but it's the same feeling of you're mean and, and I don't like you and I don't want to be your friend. Like that sounds like a, like a, what a five-year-old would say. Like that doesn't sound very mature. If you are trying to sort of, Again, I, I can go on about the sort of split ending, mm -hmm. how in neither way will Joe be happy. But if you're trying to make me believe that in the Joe gets with Friedrich storyline that it's going to be a happy ending, it's not because we barely see any real interactions with them. For most of the time, she seems to be ignoring him probably only at the dance. That's probably like their one time where we actually see them have any sort of like, Oh, they like each other. But other than that, it's like she ignores him or she's yelling at him. And like, then I'm supposed to believe that she's in love with him and that we got to go chase him down, which I didn't like Megan, Amy following her to the train station. But yeah, I just sat there going like, mm, it's not a happy ending. Even if I tried to make myself believe that that Joe ends up with Friedrich part because it doesn't seem like to that end that she was really all into him and almost seemed forced to it like I don't know like maybe that maybe that's just me but that was what I took from it was just that either the one story line of she gets her novel published but is lonely after that whole big speech and her writing the letter to Lori which never happens in the book of saying I will marry you and then to find out that Lori is with Amy, she is still, even though she has her book published, she is still very lonely. Or you go with the timeline of her with Friedrich. There's no proper development to make me think, first of all, what does Friedrich see in this Joe? Because this Joe seems totally disinterested and even mean towards you, unless you're a glutton for that kind of thing. And where in the hell did that whole, you know, I love you sequence come? It, it felt more like a sort of desperation to have someone in her life, which is why neither one of these endings, I feel, is a happy ending because it doesn't feel honest. It doesn't feel true to either one. And I, and it's, a, one, why would you do a split ending like that? I, I'm assuming to try to pander to those who are, pro Friedrich versus anti Friedrich, but either way, no matter who you are, it's not a happy ending for Joe either way. Yeah, I remember Jimena from the other art blog, she said that that whole scene of Joe shouting at him made her feel very uncomfortable. And then she read the book and it was completely different. And she was really shocked by it. I talked to Albert Scooter, Susan Bailey, and I remember that she told me that she felt that Gerwig's film was all about money. Well, if you think about it, it tries to appeal to asexuals, LGBTQ community, Joe and Laurie shippers, those who want Joe to be a spinster and those who want to go to be with Katie. And no, none of the characters doesn't have any kind of storyline because of this open ending. So it's all yeah. about the money and hate speech because if you think about it, he made a hate speech complaining about Friedrich's accent and him being German. When I read the 2019 film guide, Gerwig also said that 
She felt really sad how Louisa May Alcott rewrote her life to her books. So I got this uh, feeling that Gerwig, she must have a, had some kind of feeling that, well, Little Woman was a, a wish fulfillment and that she was very lonely and that's why she wrote these happy endings to her characters. And yet they decided to go with this um, open ending and to make fun of the novel. Yeah, I think the 2019 film is all about money. I personally don't believe anything that Gerwig has said because they don't match with anything that Louisa May Alcott has written or said, especially when you know the context about her love life. I actually find the film very problematic in when it comes to little woman research and Louisa May Alcott research because I get so many people asking me things to clarify things that happen in the 2019 film and then don't happen in, in the book. I read this uh, blog post on Tumblr from someone who had seen the 2019 film and then uh, they were trying to explain why it's oh, glory. And they said, oh, it's because Jo just wanted to live happily free in New York <laughs> or that she wanted mm-hmm. to travel the world. And I'm like, well, mm-hmm. I've read the book. Jo is not very happy when she's in New York. And um, mm-hmm. somebody also commented and that when people think about Jo being uh, alone in New York and happy, they are thinking uh, Sex and the City or uh, some mm-hmm. other modern TV series. Because when the book Jo is in New York, she's actually... 90% of the time with Brits, and then 10% of the time she's with kids, or then she's writing about her writing. But honestly, most of the time, she's somehow with Frederick in different situations. When she writes, writes to home, it's all about Frederick in her letters. And she spends a year in New York, a very long time, when you are trying to get to know someone. When I think about Joe and Frederick in, in New York, neither one of them actually really to be there that much. Uh, Friedrich has this dream that he could have a family and maybe live somewhere in the countryside or have more of a closer connection with nature or uh, establish himself as a, as, a, as a teacher again. And then Jo has this wish that she could live close to her family and have her own family there as well. And again, that's why it makes me feel like most versions timing of Joe going to New York being seen as almost being like, gotta get away. And, and then on one hand, you know, it's, I think for Joe, it's kind of like, you know, I was promised to go to Europe and I'm itching to just kind of go somewhere, but not forever. I, I will want to come back. I just need to see something and maybe it will be good for the writing. But, but like you said, she doesn't want to leave home really. And, uh, it's not until that she makes a friend with Friedrich that she can kind of feel more comfortable to be in New York. Because I think if she didn't, she would not have been there for as long as she was. I think she probably would have been there for like a few months and been like, okay, I'm really missing home. Like there's there's not much here for me. I'll, I'll just go back. But, but Friedrich is what helps her feel much more comfortable being in New York. And uh, it's almost a sense of with him, a home away from home that they both understand each other and they both have that same sort of familiarity that makes homesickness feel better. Thank you for listening. To listen to the full episode, Just Desire to Become a Mother, link is in the description. You can listen to Little Woman Podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio and other major podcast platforms. If you would like to get updated every time when a new ep- when new episodes appear, you can join the newsletter at littlewomanchannel.substack.com. Take care and make good choices. Bye.